It's PJ from WRV again, and uh, we're going to go over uh, how to make money early in the game, side questing. Uh, it's very difficult. So right now I'm doing the mission where you meet the Huntsman in Ratay. I still think I'm saying that wrong. Uh, he's up here, so I'm going to show you how, how, how to get to him. And this is one of the first side quests that I did uh, that I figured out completely on my own. Like I, I, There's really little help right now on YouTube, so it's the game is still new. Give people time they're gonna make really good walkthrough videos and you're gonna get stuck a lot so you go to this guy and you talk to him and he says hey i need three nightingales i lost them and you're like what okay fine and then he demonstrates the sound the bird makes and i thought that was going to be a challenge i, did, I had no idea if this was going to be easy or difficult and for the most part this game is it's more intimidating so you need to go all the way over to here once you get the quest mission you actually have an entire area to circle uh to look through so that's where they are. So I got to this point, and you don't need to see me go. So we're gonna cut and jump to here. And once you discover this forest, you may run into some problems because, uh, oh, okay, there is a chest in the middle of the road. I'm not that stupid. Uh, I died multiple times at this part. Bandits sometimes do spawn here. And if you can take them, great. If not, don't worry about it. But whatever you do, Drive down, uh, ride up and down that one main road and wait for this sound. That one right there. That's the sound you're looking for. It's not that complicated to hear. It's, I thought I was going to have to listen to like 17 different bird sounds. Be like, what do I do? So when you hear that, just stop. There's actually two when you find on the road and you go to your uh, inventory and you just drop one of the empty cages. And that's it. I know it seems over simply, over, over simply. Uh, that's not a word. Um, so you just drop the cage, and then you walk away for a little while. This is a great opportunity. It only takes like a minute or two, and the Nightingale just goes into it. Don't ask me how. I don't know how it works. But you do got to kill some time. Not much. I use it to practice and practice your archery. This is a very difficult part early in the game, again, because you have no skills. You're not strong. You're a baby bird. You don't even know how to read in this game. You have to learn how to read. So any opportunity where you have to wait, find something else to do, and take advantage of the time. I just picked up a little bit of hair meat because I don't have a lot of money. So hunting is the best way to get food, and you have to eat every day. And you're going to have to cook this rabbit, which isn't that difficult. But we can probably go over that in another video. Most people can figure that out on their own. You could just drop it in one of those cook pots in any kitchen that uh, you're allowed into. Uh, so once that happened, we head back and it's actually marked on the map, uh, where you drop the cages. So it's not that difficult. Yeah, that was floating for no reason because glitching. Hey, I'm part of the generation that played Atari where it was one square going toward another square or away from each other. So I'm okay with a little bit of glitching. I'm used to using my imagination. Uh, oh, hello bandit. Looks like he wants to start some shit. I'm not interested in that. I took me forever to get through this mission because I kept dying because I thought I was tough and I could take on bandits. And sometimes you get lucky and you do well and sometimes you don't. And saving is very rare in this game. You might get one or two saves a day. You have to pay for extra saves, but then you also have to drink alcohol. That's a whole different story altogether. So once you get that, head right back and then you hand it in and the guy's going to give you some money. He's going to give you some arrows and you're going to feel good about yourself because you finally did something in the game that... <laughs> Helped you move forward to the next step. And by the way, my horse's name is Pebbles. I didn't name it, but, you know, I'm cool with that. So, and that's it. My name is PJ from WRRV, and thank you for watching. I will make more videos on Kingdom Come as soon as I possibly can. Good luck with this game. It's going to be a challenge. Patience will pay off, I'm, I'm hoping. Let's hope not. Thank you, lad. Here's something for your efforts.